हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रैप द मोस्ट कॉम्प्रेंसिव एप फॉर ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एंड वेलकम टू द इम्पॉर्टेंट सेशन दैट इज कॉफी विद कॉन्सेप्ट एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर बाय यूजिंग जिनर डायोड एंड हियर आई विल गिव यू द आइडिया फास्टेस्ट वे टू सॉल्व वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर बेस्ड क्वेश्चन दिस इज द टॉपिक फ्रॉम एनालॉग and it is important for electronics electrical and instrumentation branch and at the end we will solve one question one important question okay now first of all this is a session coffee with concept means you can learn important concept of a gate exam right and remember the gate is concept based exam means you are not going to get formula based question all the questions will be on concept based okay then this is my experience myself sanjay rathi 22 years of teaching experience and these are my achievements and these are my subject guys then uh first of all you will get the idea what is the role of the voltage regulator then how we are going to convert the ac signal into what dc because we are reading the ac signal normally we are saying that 230 volt comma 50 hertz 230 volt is what rms value right and now this sinusoidal signal is converted into what dc signal it may be of 10 volt it may be of 15 volt right how we can convert then this is the block diagram here we are having the transformer then rectifier then filter circuit then regulator that is what voltage regulator and finally what we are having the load then this is the ac signal right already i have given 230 volt 50 hertz 230 volt is the rms value then this signal will pass through the transformer it may be step down or step up normally in electronics we want 10 volt or 15 volt or 20 volt and that's why we are using the step down transformer but in power electronics we can also step up the signal So after step down again we are getting the sinusoidal signal the average value or dc value of this signal is zero average value or dc value of this signal is again zero then this signal is passed through the rectifier the rectifier will convert the bidirectional waveform into unidirectional waveform but after rectification again it is not a pure dc it has some dc component but it also has ac component And that ac component is called ripple and this signal is called pulsating dc so this signal will be passed through what filter circuit filter means we are using the capacitor filter or inductor filter or l section filter or pi filter what is the purpose of filter here it will minimize the ac component okay it will reduce the ripple and then here we will get this type of signal the variation in this signal is very very high but the variation at the output of filter is very low but again it is not pure dc we have some fluctuation right then we are passing this signal through the voltage regulator and after passing through the voltage regulator this will converted into a pure dc signal so this is the input of the voltage regulator that is called unregulated voltage and this is the output of voltage regulator and that is called what regulated voltage guys and now this is given to the load in this way we are getting the pure dc signal right and that is the voltage regulator no doubt we can design the voltage regulator by using zener diode and we are also using the bjt we are saying that shunt voltage regulator or series voltage regulator or sometimes we are also using what operational amplifier but here we will discuss the voltage regulator by using zener diode okay and i will give you the two important formula so that it will become very easy for you to solve the question so guys what is the voltage regulator now this is a unregulated circuit means we are having the r we are having the rl this is the v not and we are getting the output across this rl sometimes it is also called load voltage v not is equal to vl and that is called load current and that is the vi vi is called line voltage and there is a variation in the line already i have given in the previous diagram there is a voltage fluctuation now we want the v not at this point then 
according to voltage division rule we can write what is the v naught watch this formula v naught is equal to rl upon r plus rl into vi this is what vi you can correct it this is the nothing but vi now if it is vi then guys it depends upon the rl as well as what vi then there is a variation in v naught because of the variation in vi there is a variation in v naught because of variation in rl variation in v naught due to vi is called line variation and variation in v naught due to rl is called what load variation so you will get two types of variation that is mentioned here line variation and what load variation now we are going to connect a zener diode parallel to what rl and that's why it is called shunt shunt voltage regulator means we are connecting the regulating element parallel to what rl zener diode now what is the regulated circuit so this is the zener diode as a voltage regulator guys this is the voltage regulator we are connecting here now this vi is not constant it has the range it will vary from maximum value to what minimum value okay then for full range of vi and for full range of rl right the zener diode should be in breakdown region why once the zener diode will be in breakdown region the voltage across the zener diode will be constant that is what v not v not will become what vz because we are getting the output voltage across the zener diode okay no doubt there will be the variation in vi there will be the variation in rl but for the full range of vi for the full range of rl if the zener diode will remain in breakdown region means what output will remain constant guys so these are the important formula regulated voltage once the zener diode is in breakdown v not will become vz constant then this current i i is given by vi minus v not and what is the v not vz so vi minus vz by r1 then this formula i i is divided into two parts iz plus what il so it is given here iz plus il so that is what current is divided into two parts through zener diode through rl now from this you can find the ij then ij will become i minus il this formula is very very important one because when vi will vary from minimum to maximum and rl will vary from minimum to what maximum then definitely there will be the change in what i as well as there will be the change in il why because i is vi minus vz by r1 r1 is constant vz is constant but vi is variable and that's why i will variable similarly when we are changing the value of rl no doubt v not is constant but what is the il v not upon rl that's why the il will change if the i will change il will change definitely iz will change but already i have given you the idea zener diode should be in breakdown region for full range of vi or full range of rl what is the meaning of this then guys this is the il il minimum to il maximum hence iz will be iz minimum to iz maximum it will vary iz minimum to iz maximum guys watch this diagram in this is the diagram for the diode when the diode is forward biased that will be the characteristics when the diode is reverse biased then that will be the characteristics okay it is a practical zener diode this is called the breakdown voltage this current is called knee current it is the minimum zener diode current required for what breakdown rz is called dynamic resistance when rz is zero zero then 1 by rz will become infinite and then the this line will become a straight line in that case the slope will be infinite but if you have the dynamic resistance then this type of curve here we are having the maximum current also means we can't pass the current more than what maximum current so what is the limit of the maximum current in uh, in question they will give you the this is the iz rated means we can't pass the current more than the rated current or they will provide you the power rating that is called pz rating this is the pz rating when this pz rating is divided by vz because the power rating is nothing but vz into iz you will get the maximum rated current iz rated 
the maximum current through the Jena diode should be less than or equal to what rated current. You can write this formula like this Iz maximum should be less than or equal to Iz rated. So sometimes they will give you the direct value or otherwise remember Vz Iz rated is nothing but Pz rated power dissipation. From this you can get the Iz rated is equal to Pz rated upon what Vz. I think now this formula is clear. Okay. So that's why we are using the Iz maximum. So knee current means minimum current required for the breakdown. This is the maximum current for the breakdown reason. Right. Then this is called knee current range of the Iz. So what should be the range of the Iz in breakdown reason? From Izk minimum current to what Iz maximum. Okay. Then on the basis of this data we can find the Iz minimum. What is the minimum Jenner diode current through the current uh, diode current? When already you have the formula Iz is equal to what I minus IL. When this is minimum and this is maximum. This is minimum and that is IL is maximum. Then you will get the minimum current through the Jenner diode. What is the Iz minimum? I minimum minus Il maximum. When I, we, we will get the I minimum, when Vi is minimum. When Vi minimum minus Vz by R1, that is the formula for I minimum. What is the Il maximum? Vz upon Rl minimum. When the load is minimum, then the load current will be maximum. This is the minimum current through the general diode. Right? And this current should be greater than or equal to what Iz is for breakdown reason okay so this is the first important equation remember with this equation you can solve around 80 percent question on based on what general diode regulator voltage regulator okay then guys second formula maximum general diode current iz maximum is given by i maximum minus il minimum right and what is the i maximum Vi maximum minus Vz upon R1. This is the value of the I maximum. And what is the IL minimum? When the load resistance is maximum. Vz upon RL maximum. So this is called maximum general diode current. And already I have given this maximum general diode current should be less than or equal to what? Rated current. And what is the rated current? Pz rated upon Vz. Or otherwise in numerical they will give you the rated current. Iz rated. So that is the inequality. It should be less than that. So these two formula. So remaining question we can solve through this formula. So these are the two important formula. Now you can use this formula and you can solve all the questions. So I am going to solve one question. Very very important and conceptual question from the gate exam in 2005 electronics branch. The Jenner diode in the regulator circuit shown in the figure has a general voltage of 5.8 volt. So what is the breakdown voltage? 5.8 volt. And a general knee current of 0.5 milli ampere. Means minimum general diode current required for the breakdown is 0.5 milli ampere. Remember one thing, if in a particular numerical, if Izk is not given, suppose it is not given, then you can take ideal condition. Or under ideal condition, it is zero. But in this question, it is given 0.5 milli ampere. The maximum load current drawn from its circuit what is the keyword here ensuring the proper functioning over the input voltage range between 20 and 30 volt so what is the range of the input 20 to 30 volt and what is the meaning of this ensuring the proper functioning ensuring the proper functioning means the general diode should remain in what breakdown reason then output voltage will remain constant that is the 5.8 volt and what is the condition for the breakdown reason? Already I have given. Then you can directly use this formula. Guys, remember, here we are having one current that is the I. And this is the Ij. And when we are connecting the load here, there will be the current IL. Already I have given the formula. Iz minimum is equal to I minimum when it is minimum and when IL is maximum this current should be greater than or equal to what i z k okay now what is the i minimum v minimum minus vz upon r this will 
what is the v minimum 20 volt what is the vz 5.8 what is the r 1 kilo ohm minus what is asked in the question il maximum it should be greater than or equal to 0.5 then guys you can directly gain the il maximum is nothing but 14.2 minus 0.5 and answer is what 13.7 milli ampere so answer for this particular question is 13.7 milli ampere this is the answer answer is what c okay means for some students will solve we want the maximum current that's why they will take what maximum value 30 volt okay when we are putting the 30 volt you will get the answer what 23.7 but that is wrong the keyword is what ensuring the proper functioning over the input voltage range means the general diode should remain in what breakdown region so you have to follow the two equations already i have given those two equations so please revise it and you can use in all the questions to try to solve all the previous year question based on what voltage regulator by using Jenner diode and that is the fastest way to solve the question based on voltage regulator by using Jenner diode hope you are enjoying the session guys that is the diagram these are this is the solution to so, like the session subscribe our channel you are on Baiju's exam prep the most comprehensive app for all competitive exams now you can scan the QR code so that you can join our telegram channel subscribe channel share the link of this session okay then thank you and good luck for all coming exams